So today I wanted to share a bit of a, a dubbing brush technique that I've discovered. It's uh, really no different than the dubbing brush technique that Norm teaches um, on the Norvice videos, um, with the exception that I use tine thread. I don't think it's anything uh, relatively new. There's a lot of people using tine thread to, to tie furled leaders, and people are, are obviously been making dubbing loop forever. Um, but I'm actually doing these pre-tied ahead of time, and what I found is the tying thread doesn't actually um, doesn't actually tangle up and spin up like I expected it to. It pretty much acts just like wire does. And so I'm getting ready to start tying a bunch of steelhead flies for a steelhead trip here this winter. And this allows me to, to be a little bit more creative. I'm not anti-chenille, but it's not my favorite thing in the world to use. I just don't like I don't like the look of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is pretty much just like I normally would with wire is I'm going I'm to go on and I'm going to wind my thread on until it just holds itself. I'm going to drape the, the far end over my dubbing brush table. And then just as simple as that, I'm going to put on um, my different dubbing colors. So I'm going to do an example of a green butt skunk, so a nice bright green. So I'm going to do a butt section that's green. And I have to say, I haven't figured out exactly the right lengths for um, various flies. I think that's a, it's something that you could figure out so you can pre-tie bodies. So I could pre-tie, you know, 10 or 15 different green butt skunk bodies for a specific hook size if I knew that. Um, and then I'm just going to really simply do a, a nice black color on there. It's going to be a little bit longer. I've done some of these on trout nymphs and they're just incredible. The bodies that come out, it kind of comes out this nice rope and you can brush it out. Um, super durable. And I really like it and you don't necessarily get the weight of the wire and actually some of the expense of the wire. So you're basically building your own chenille. And the other advantage is you can layer in. So I've got some black ice stub here or I could do some light bright or or something like that. So I can layer that in so my fly is not too flashy. And again, I could do all this by dubbing on the thread. But this just allows me to pre tie my bodies sort of ahead of time. And you can also tie some seal bugger type flies as well. So a lot of applications for this. And uh, in some of the books I'm reading, where they do this, they actually build tools to do this. But the Norvice is obviously designed to do this. Um, they store them on cards. So again, really simply, just, just like Norm does in his videos, is I'm going to trap with that second piece of thread over the top. I use a fairly um, short hook with a large hook eye. It just makes my life easier. And I'm just going to start spinning. I'm going to spin it away from me until I feel it kind of pick up the thread. And then I'm going to lift this. I'm going to lift the uh, dubbing bench out of the way and then I'm just going to spin it just like I normally would with wire. So really no different. I'm holding it with my fingers until I feel like I've got a good capture of the thread. And this is probably way bigger and, and buggier than I normally would do. Um, I'm just kind of doing some for illustration purposes. And then from there I could grab a toothbrush and I could brush that out. Because again, I've got a lot of extra fiber kind of in there. If there's an area that's a little bit too buggy, I can I can pick that out with my fingers. But again, this is going to make a nice, nice underbody. It's nice and clean. And you can't buy a chenille that looks like that. So I'm going to spin that up a little bit more. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to, let, I'm going to trim it off here. And I'm set to go. Um, the thread that I suggest is UTC. That seems to be what everybody uses for um, everyone uses for their and there's your finished um, finished chenille essentially um, for their furled leaders and it seems to work really well
I probably spun that a little bit too much while I was getting some tangling, but as you can see, I've got a nice thing. I can tie this on a card um, and just make up an, a number of these bodies and tie them on a steelhead fly. So give it a shot.